smaller, cheaper, faster. Hey guys, this is Steve Huff from stevehuffphoto.com and today I'm in San Francisco and I got to try the brand new Sony 24 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens out and here is that lens. It's actually a beautiful, small uh, light and G Master means you're getting that performance, the best performance Sony can offer. Now I was very surprised by this lens because it's so small. So I'm recording this about two or three days before the lens is going to be announced and I have some notes here that I've taken. Uh, this lens has 10 groups and 13 elements, two XA elements and three ED glass elements. There's an XA element in the front and the competitors only used a spherical, normal spherical. The XA extreme spherical will bring higher resolution at all apertures. And that means there is no significant drop in quality in the corners with this lens, even when shot at f1.4. This lens is perfect for astro shooters as it is sagittal flare suppressed, meaning those stars, they're not gonna have those highlights that are blowing out of them. They're gonna be pinpoint stars. So this lens here is actually perfect for astro shooters. This lens is also about 200 grams lighter than the Canon and the Sigma and around 160 or so grams lighter than the Nikon 24 1.4. So it's smaller and lighter and cheaper. At $1399, this lens goes up for pre-order any day now to ship in October. G Master here has an 11 blade aperture for silky smooth bokeh. I didn't see a huge difference in the out of focus rendering between the Canon 24 Mark II and the Sony G Master. They're both lovely. They both have a very smooth bokeh. This lens right here has a 0.24 inch minimum focus distance, which means you can focus this lens really, really close. This lens has a high power direct drive SSM motor. Instead of turning the glass, there's a little motor in here that goes forward and backwards. That means smooth autofocus for video as well as silent autofocus for video. Something the Canon 24 1.4 cannot do and I'm shooting the Canon right now and it just makes these little clickly noises every time it's focusing, which is constantly. Um, I, I'm using an external mic, but it sometimes even picks up. The Sony here is dead silent, silent as a mouse when focusing for video. So add that close focus distance, that super silent and fast, blazing fast focus. Um, add the fact that it's a G Master, so you're getting the best glass from Sony that they offer. Um, add to the fact that it's smaller, lighter, and cheaper than the competitors. And if you're a Sony shooter and you like Fast Prime, this is one you seriously want to take a look at. Now, I shot this a bit on the A7R Mark III. Lightning fast autofocus for still, lightning fast autofocus for video as well. I have no LCD to see myself with the Sony, but hopefully I'm in focus. I think the Sony is going to be more silent, you're not going to hear it. All right. This lens for Sony shooters will make a great vlogging lens if you want to add that extreme separation and unique look to your vlogging, right? You can get a look similar to what I'm getting right here where the backgrounds are all blurred out, yet you'll be in focus. And with Sony's really awesome and quick focus, um, it's going to work really well for vloggers. All Sony needs now is a full frame camera with a flip out screen. And my guess is they're working on one right now. This lens also has a de-click ring because it has a manual aperture dial. And if you want clicks, you can have them. If you want silent for shooting video, you just flick a switch and it will turn to smooth clickless turning of that aperture dial. One thing I did find in either mode, whether you're in click or not, 
the aperture dial does move quite easily. There were a couple times I thought I was at f1.4 and I was really at f2 because it had moved during um, just while in my hand or, or at my... So they're not really super solid aperture clicks. There's a little play there, so I feel they, sh they could have made it a little tighter, but that's a little nitpick. So I was only able to capture a few images with this Sony lens. I've only, we only really had it for an hour or two today. And we went to Mirror Woods, Mirror Woods, is that how you say it? In San Francisco, which was beautiful. So I'll throw up some images here that I snapped with the lens. What I found with it in this very first look is that um, it is, as advertised by Sony, sharp at all apertures, uh, sharp in the corners. The color is fantastic. It's up to G Master standards because this is a G Master lens. Um, it's very balanced on the a7R 3 and will be so on the A9 or any model A7. Uh, for video, the focus was lightning quick, actually, um, and it was quicker than what I'm getting on the 62 with the 24 Canon. Um, the Sony was almost instantaneous uh, with focusing, and uh, I was pretty impressed by it. The lens is lightweight. It's way smaller than I would have expected it to be, and um, it comes in at $1,399. So it's not too bad. At least it's not $1,800 like some of the G Master lenses. I would say if you're looking for a fast, wider angle lens and you want that depth of field effect, you want that shallow depth of field, uh, and you want a lens that focuses close as well while giving you the best quality Sony has to offer. Um, I think this is a wonderful lens and you might want to take a look at it. As for Sony, this new 24mm G Master f1.4, another winner. I mean, you really can't go wrong. There's really nothing to complain about. So, um, I'll put a pre-order link below if it's available for pre-order by the time this video is released. Uh, I showed you some images uh, in this video. I'm going to see if I can get one for a two-week loan and do a proper test of the lens. Even when I do that, I'll have another video and I'll update it at stevehufffoto.com. Thanks guys. I'll talk to you next time.